Hey guys, it's Miss Fisher, and I'm going to read our book for tonight. So this book is called They All Saw a Cat. Now, it is a Caldecott honor book. That means it has really great illustrations and pictures to go along with the story. So the AR test number for this book is right here. It is test number 183849. So if you want to take a picture of that real quick or write that down, that'll be the AR test number when I'm finished with this book. And the thing I love about this book is all of the illustrations show just a cat, but from a bunch of different perspectives. So here we go. They all saw a cat. What's that look like? Fur. All right, so they all saw a cat. And the child saw the cat. So this is how a kid sees a cat. How's the cat look to you? Happy. Weird. Happy. Happy. Kind of cute, right? And the dog saw a cat. Does the cat look the same now? No. 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 Different and ugly. Kind of, yeah, a little uglier than a kid would see it. And the fox saw a cat. Well, why is the fox in That's the fox cute. is chasing. That's how a fox sees a cat? They all saw the cat. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. Oh, and tail. Mm -hmm. Mama. And the fish saw the cat. Mommy, it's an orange Every fish. time it, you flip the page, the cat looks different each time and it has different. And no, no, it has. It's an orange it, fish. And it's shaped different. That's because different animals are seeing Mama, it, right? Mama, a fish yeah. would see a cat differently Mama. than a dog. Mama, it's, the fish is orange. It is orange. A gold <gasps> and the mouse saw the cat. Well, yeah. That mouse sees the cat as what? what a giant that? monster. Yeah. Or scary. Sharky. What is it? That's the cat. But why is it? Why, why does it? The cat looks Because terrifying. it would eat a mouse, wouldn't it? Yeah. And the bee saw a cat. Why, why is, is, is the bee going to sting the cat? Nah. Yes, they all saw the cat. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. And tail. And the bird saw the cat. The cat's much smaller now, isn't it? Because uh -huh. birds are where? Up high. Up high, they can fly. And the flea saw the cat. Now what is the cat? Wait, a uh, gigantic. It's gigantic because the flea's right there. It lives on the cat. Cat's fur. And the snake saw the cat. That's, what is this? Snakes can kind of see heat, right? So it senses the heat. Yeah. And the skunk saw the cat. Look, yeah. it's the same, only different colors. And the, the snake, yeah, that's kind of weird about the book. They all um, look, look different, but um, for the, except that one. The snakes, um, one of um the, but that, Mama, the mm -hmm. snake's tongue is sticking out. It is. That's kind of how they see with their tongue sometimes, right? Yeah. They can sense things with their tongue. And the worm saw the cat. And that's a dog cat. Yeah, the worm. And the bat saw the cat. Yes, they all saw the cat. And the worm's under the cat. It's under the ground. It feels vibrations, yeah. right? Yeah. And the Guess bat's using echolocation. The <gasps> yes, they all saw a cat. Hey. It's all mixed up now, right? Yeah. Yeah. A child, and a dog, and a fox, and a fish, and a mouse, and a bee, and a bird, and a flea, and a snake, and a skunk, and a worm, and a bat. And a wolf. The cat knew them all, and they all knew the cat. And that's a wolf. That's a fox. And the cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. Then it came to the water. And imagine what it saw. It's reflection. It saw itself. Yeah. Right? It's reflection. It's reflection. And the water. end. So I love this book because the illustrations are all showing a cat. I want to read it. But now. based on. Mama, I want to read it now. Okay, we'll do that one in just a minute. So based on whoever's perceiving the cat sees it differently. So a fun activity for you at home oh, would be God. think of an animal. And draw it as many different ways as you can, thinking of the other animals that might perceive it. Or maybe draw a family member or something the way that other people might see it. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys have a great night.